What's this holiday called? Shavuot. Shavuot. No, Shavuot. Shavuot. Are you gonna start now? We had a dust storm yesterday, so he has to wipe the windows down. Look at all the spots. Okay, we're going over to Hadar's family's house right now. We're probably, what's it gonna take, about four hours. Uh, this holiday is called, sh oh, I keep hitting the camera on the ceiling. This holiday is called Shavuot. Shavuot. Yep. Basically, to me, it's the cheese holiday because it's a dairy holiday. So we eat cheese and cheesecake and ice cream and stuff like that. It's a Jewish holiday. So if you're not Jewish, you can just call it a cheese holiday. What is Shavuot? It's not actually a cheese holiday. Three times a year, all the Jewish people in Israel at the time went to the temple. Uh, I forget what, well, pilgrimage, right? That's what you call yeah. it. Yeah. What is that, the second temple they went to? No, the first and then the second, yeah. Oh, okay. The first one was ruined. Yeah. yeah. One is Passover that people know, and this is another. Okay, so Passover was like a month and a half ago? Yeah, and from Passover to this holiday, you count the weeks, and it's called the holiday of weeks. That's in meaning Shavuot. You go to the temple with your big baskets of stuff on your donkey or whatever. <laughs> so it's, that's why it's called. It's also called the holiday of baskets. Okay, you have, yeah. what do you carry your stuff there for? For sacrifice or for eating? Yeah, if you bring it to the temple. You oh, bring so all you... your best, all your best stuff, which just grew, and that's when it grows. So like you bring your, your wheat crop and yeah, your goats? Yeah, everything is done by then. Yep. And your sheep? Yep. And then you sacrifice it at the temple? Yep, and at the kibbutzim, at the, well, I don't know what you call it in the States. The kibbutz? Yeah. Yeah. The kibbutz is a very small settlement of people who are not, not communists, but kind of the same. <laughs> They're socialists. Idea. Yeah, it's yeah. very nice though. It's very nice. Yeah, that's very good living because nobody earns a wage. Well, everybody earns their keep, basically. You all live there for free, but you all work together. Yeah, but nowadays everybody the gets a is job. Different. Nowadays it's modernized, so you can get you can get your job. You do have to pay for the kibbutz, and you pay lower rent and stuff. Yeah. But people can rent this a house like nowadays. like a community. You didn't used to be able to rent houses, not when I lived in one. Yeah, it's different now. He lived in yeah. one until he was five. Cheese holiday. Okay, you see this light right here? That light has been staying on when the car goes off. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't shut off. So it's kind of like zapping the battery because we don't use this car every single day. My husband gets a, a military bus to go to his base. It's like well, several hours away from our house. So we don't use this car every day. We just kind of joyride in it. So it's draining the battery until we use it again and it's really having a hard time starting. So we're going to go to Beersheba, which is a little bit above or next to a rod, but it was, it's like the biggest town from a lot. It's the capital the first, of the city, of the Negev. Capital of the Negev. Yeah, the capital of the Negev. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice area to shop. It basically has everything, health food store, uh, home center. Um, they don't have too many stores here, but it's basically got everything. So we're going to go over there and we're going to get the car checked out and see if it's a starter problem or maybe we can get like uh, something to disengage the light when it goes off. So we'll see about that. You already got the battery checked, huh? Yeah, I got the battery checked. It's not the battery and it's not the lights either. The lights do turn off, but way after you're out of the car and it's a known thing about the phone. Oh, it does shut off? Yep. Oh, it's okay. a known thing. And it's not a known, it's not a known, you know, big deal. Yeah. Uh, but they don't start too well. But our car is fine. Oh. It starts fine. It, sometimes it starts fine. Sometimes it takes four or five tries. I'm never afraid it's not going to start because it sounds good. You know, the starter, everything sounds good. It's just a little just scary when go. you get in and it's like 100 degrees and it won't start. Another thing about the forward focus is I heard they have a pretty bad issue with the heat. They can't take oh. ridiculous heat. Oh, this is a great car to get in the desert then. Oh yeah, what is? Great job. <laughs> Great research we did there. I can't see it in the Andrea. thing, but there's the UFO. I can't see it in the viewfinder. There's the UFO weather balloon. Hi, you having a good time? It's only a couple hours, right? <laughs> yeah. Hi.
we're at the Ford shop because we're gonna get our car looked at now. It's probably going to take a couple of hours. This is not gonna be fun. Oh, that's military police. Look at these pretty roses. The smell out here is really smelling very strongly of rose. The pretty orangey red ones. Wow. And they have a luxury waiting room. Oh He's like goodness. Kitty, he likes to fish. <laughs> Look, they got my favorite fishes. The Look. sucker fishes. <laughs> They're like, hey buddy, if you're not gonna feed us, get out of here. Hey honey. <laughs> you have a cute smile too. Oh, we got some uh, Hebrew television cartoons going on too. Yeah. And they have a computer here. And Niels. You get to watch. What's it called? Niels Olgerson. I don't know what that is. Niels Olgerson? Yeah. There is. is that a Hebrew show? He's got some yeast now. It's Nordic or something. Oh, okay. Danish. All right. They're flying to wetland with the yeast. He had a burp. Hi, coffee. Free coffee. <laughs> Working on the second one. Okay, we just got out of there. How long did it take us? Like an hour? We were, we were there for about two hours. We, we arrived two hours ago. Yeah, so it took like two hours and uh, it was the fuel injector pump, uh, basically. We're just hoping this car doesn't become a Ford Focus. I agree. Yeah. Let's see, it was, uh, how much was it? Uh, about 20... $650 with the work itself being done on it. That's yeah. total after tax. It was 2,900 shekels, so about $650 to fix that. And this is, um, we just got the car, and we're thinking that the old owner knew about this and didn't say anything. So uh, We're thinking that because it starts up good whenever you already have the engine on and, you know, you started it a while afterwards. Yeah, but it's pretty obvious. We did take it to a... Uh, you know, a test hanger. Yeah. It costs 400 shekels by itself, 450. Yeah, just to test it. And they did everything fine. The starter was good, everything was good, the battery was good. That's probably why they couldn't see it. Yeah. So, Andrea doesn't like to get jipped. Yeah, I hate getting ripped got. off. That just irritates me. <laughs> Summer blanket. Look here. Panda. And look at the panda down here, the panda face pillow. And these, what the heck is this? Some kind of scary doll. That's a sleepy buddy. A sleepy buddy and a monkey. What, he doesn't like shopping? Of course he does. He likes shopping. <laughs> it's sleepy. Do you like, like shopping? No. You happy today? Yeah, we're real happy today. <laughs> what are we looking for? Nothing. A summer blanket and a lamp, and they don't have either one of them in our what we want. Yep, home center. Yep, home center. It's, it's not like Home Depot, that's for sure. Can't get a Home Depot or a Lowe's. This is where his sister Anat and brother-in-law Itai live with their kids Daniela and Idamar. This is a kibbutz, a modern day kibbutz in Israel. They still have jobs here, like they raise chickens and livestock and they farm. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.
למה לא? גדול. גדול. Rub your rub your chin on his cheek because it makes him laugh. What is that, Donald Duck? No, I don't need any. No, I don't want any. Look at smile. Go oh, here, let me get everybody. This is Daniela. It's a knot. It's uh, Hadar's sister and Itamar. This is another. She's not liking that too much. She's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's mine. It's so big, bright, and spacious in here. I love the deck outside. The living room, dining room, and kitchen are all together, and it's just so big and bright in here. I just love it. Her cabinets are all really organized. They have organizers inside of it. I just love this house so much. It had like four bedrooms in it, a safe room, two living rooms. It's a great place to live on the kibbutz. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>